Hi folks, glad you could join me again. I'm Stephen Crowley. Today I've got a, a simple little winter scene for you. Just use the three colours on this one, so limited palette. So let me show you the palette that I've used for this. So the three colours were just ultramarine, lemon yellow and alizarin crimson for this one. They're all Cotman watercolours. And then the brushes, as always, mostly done with a large Iron Hansen brush. Just did a few fence posts with that flat brush there. And then the two riggers, size zero and number three. Right then, I'm going to try and restrict the palette on this as much as I can. Let's see what sort of atmospheric effects I can get. So I'm doing, let's go a lizardin, a bit of lemon yellow as well. Just see what that looks like. ultramarine in there as well Let's push some of that down the bottom I think just a little bit of darker cloud in there there's one Pop another one in. That all the way down to the bottom. Build that up a bit there. And then right down on the horizon line, same, same colours again. And this time we're having something like that. And I can tell already I'm probably going to end up re-wetting this. I've left it a little bit dropped. I don't know, I'll, I'll see how it goes, see how it goes. So a bit of this. A bit more boost. So I'm, all I'm doing, I'm just make, alternating between those colours. So three colours. And then just little dips and dabs along the horizon line. In fact, what I might do is just clean the brush and it's just take a little like a weak ultramarine and just push it across that sky area. Let's just see what that does. Do these darker, darker clouds. Bring those down. You can see the paper, it's already dried there. Getting the sharper edges. Let's just just soften off those edges there at the bottom. I didn't want them that that much if I just, just using a clean damp brush Set that down to the horizon line and I'm going to do a quick dry So coming forward, I want another dark mix now. So I'm just mixing those same three colours together. And then around here I'm 
making some darker tones. I'm going to put a tree there in a sec. Um, stuff down there and then scraping the a few more things just random details little fence posts and things and then on this side switch to the rigger brush same mix same three colours, and this time I'm coming from here. In fact, I'm going to put the foliage in first, I think. Do it the other way around. So a big tree there. Put the foliage in, and I'm going to pop in, pop in some tree trunks. as well, something like that. So I've got some big trees there, now the trunks linking the ground and that foliage. So just going there. Just push that up again. Hedge thing on the left hand side giving down down to our little little cottage. Now what I might try and do is just do a quick sweep of a some kind of some kind of road or something going up to that cottage. Like a, no, not a road, like a path maybe. I don't know, like a little little line that's down where our little figure can go a few little bits of grass and things just sticking out from the snow right I'll just switch to this this brush. Stick a few uprights, a few fence posts and things. We need just a touch more water. And stick a you can hardly see them actually. Um something like that. Some tiny little details. Let's dry that and I'll put some shadows in.
what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the shadows fairly weak. So I'm just going to mix the same three colours. It's quite a weak wash, plenty of water, only a little bit of paint. And I'm thinking that the, the, it's ticking this way, something like that. So we've got like a big one going across there. And then a few shadows coming from these trees. So I've kept them, tried to keep them fairly subtle. And then a few little subtle shadows coming from these posts there. Quick draw. Switch to the size zero rigger brush. Um, I think he's going to be. Hmm. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a bit of space for him because it's, it's a bit congested. If I just take out some of that. Dry that. Now I've got somewhere to stick our little man and his dog. So back to the size zero. Now I want him quite small. So I'm sort of doing him slightly leaning forward. Shadows coming across. Yeah, so subtle little, subtle little figures there. Brush I meant to have the I'm not even quite sure what brush I had in my hand then. Let's have a some little birds up there and then finally call that one finished and let's let's just sign it down there. Right, let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. So there's our paint in the mount. So if we're going to have a closer look at it. You see, you just tried to get a few sort of tonal differences in the sky there. So we've got predominantly ultramarine on the rest less on the left, and then we've got lizarding crimson and a little bit of lemon yellow mixed into it just to darken the, 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 the mix completely. Few little dabs of uh, the sort of chisel like just to get the, the clouds narrower and narrower towards the horizon line, and then we've got the same colours mixed together. Just start off the lot, the big horizon, 
colours coming through. We lift some white of the paper there for the snow effect and then use those same, just the same three colours throughout the painting. Just put in the foliage with the uh, corner of the oak brush and then brushed in the tree trunks with the rigger. Same over here on this right hand side. A few sort of changes of colour as the foliage moves along. You can see our little man and his dog walking towards this simply scraped out little cabin there. Well I've just focused on the roof and then just scraped out a few fence posts and things, random details. Then just a few little subtle shadows couldn't cast across this sort of white white snowy foreground there. So that's it for today's painting. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks as always for watching for your support. Um, if you do get a chance, join me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Stephen Crane. It's about another 200 videos on there for you to have a go at. Plus you can post your own paintings on the community page. Um, so, till next time, if you've got any questions, please ask. Keep practising, and I'll see you again soon.